Well, in the next few weeks, an architecture firm will start assessing how to improve the nearly 25-year-old Smoothie King Center. As Andres Fuentes reports, it will happen as the Pelicans fight for a top spot in the playoffs. With 10 home games left on the Pelicans calendar, the message from the ticket office is simple. We really need uh, fans to do their part, show up, and, and show out. The team says most of the premium seating is already gone, but individual tickets are still up for grabs for rowdy fans ready to cheer on a top five team in the Western Conference. Yes! Speaking of We're only three and a half games back from, from posting a playoff series in round one. You can expect just a lot of high energy coming through and uh, rocking the seats. Rajon Alexander and the rest of the Pell squad have a unique perspective of the Pelicans crowd entertaining them right on the sidelines. She says the shows and competitive basketball are what bring people into the arena. The live music, that is honestly a set the tone for what you can expect going into the blender. Um, our players being extremely explosive and having the best time. And goes right by him, hard to the hole. And while the New Orleans Pelicans continue their playoff push, over the next few weeks, ASM Global says a design and architecture firm will actually be coming here to assess this nearly 25-year-old arena and seeing how best to improve an already unique fan experience. We really have something for everyone, whether it's seeing Pierre the Pelican, uh, watching the Pell Squad dance routines, or trying to catch a t-shirt from the t-shirt cannon. The Louisiana Stadium and Exposition District says the assessment will be the first step in a lengthy process to improve the venue overall. People like that this has been a team that um, that they can grow with. Reporting in New Orleans, Go Pell! Fuentes, Fox 8, Local First.